your boy Tim Mariello. You know me as a fitness and supplement expert. I'm going to give you five dead broke. I'm talking dead dirty broke, dog. I'm talking about you can't even pay attention, bro. Dead broke pump products. Listen, man, I understand you're just trying to do the right thing. Go to the gym and get you a good old pump, but you don't want to spend all the money on the supplements because maybe you don't want to or maybe you just don't got the money. So I'm going to give you again five dead broke ways to get a pump with these five dead broke pump products. Are you ready? Number one, sodium. That's right. Lots of sodium. Now, I take sodium pills before I go to the gym. That's right, man. I take two sodium tablets with my pre-workout before I go to the gym. I know Stan Efforting is a nationally recognized whatever, known as the most strongest uh, bodybuilder in the world. He takes sodium before he goes to the gym. Sodium is a water-soluble ingredient. So what happens is you get what's called blood volumization. That's where you get vascularity. That sodium clings to the water. And when that sodium water, if you will, goes to your muscles, you're getting more of an engorged feel in your muscles. A fuller bloodstream, if you will, because of the sodium giving you a pump. Number two, this is something I use, baby aspirin. People use baby aspirin all the time to prevent themselves from, oh yeah, dying from a heart attack or a stroke. Aspirin is a blood thinner. That means you're gonna have more blood traveling easier to working muscles while you're working out. Now, I wouldn't recommend using a ton of aspirin at one time or using a lot of aspirin frequently because it's hard on your liver. That's why I like to use just a little bit of aspirin once in a while. But I tell you what, man, people have been using aspirin as part of their supplementation regimen for quite a while. Number three, niacin. Now listen, I want you to listen. Niacin, in my opinion, I'm being honest, is better than agmatine and better than citrulline. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Okay, the supplement companies aren't gonna tell you that because niacin's like <laughs> two or three dollars for like a three month supply of niacin. Now I take 250 milligrams of niacin. That's what I, I like to take. 250% uh, of the recommended daily amounts of niacin. People take niacin. Doctors tell people to take niacin because it opens up blood vessels deep within your body. It's great for blood circulation problems and gets that blood flowing to your working muscles. Number four, this is dirty bro, bro. I'm talking about eating tons of beets and tons of garlic. These are filled with nitrates that will help with nitric oxide production. Man, how much are beets, man? Beets are cheap as crap, bro. Go to Walmart, they gotta be cheap as crap. Get you a $1 can of beets. Dude, they make beet powder for nitric oxide production. Beets are loaded with nitrates, just like garlic. They help with nitric oxide production and will help relax and vasodilate your blood vessels for a sick, nasty beet pump. Number five, last but not least, listen. This, this right here is your last ditch effort. Now, bodybuilders, before they do a bodybuilding show, will load up on sugary carbs. Uh, dude, I've seen people eating circus peanuts, Skittles, all kind of sugary carbs. Why? Because one gram of carbohydrate holds three grams of water. And when you eat those carbs, that's how you fill out. That's how you get full. That's how these bodybuilders get huge and gain like freaking 15 pounds before they show. They're just pumping up their muscles. But the trick with these sugary carbs is to eat some cinnamon. Now I'm talking dead broke, okay? I didn't say your favorite insulin mimicking supplement. I said cinnamon, okay? People take cinnamon and depend on cinnamon very highly to reduce blood sugar to get that sugar in their blood into their muscles, okay? So if you can take cinnamon with sugary carbs and load up on those things, carb load, that's what's gonna help get you a really big pump and keep your muscles full in the gym. Man, dang it, you welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in next time.